enterprise administrator, you have the responsibility to manage access to enterprise applications. These applications can be modern SaaS-based applications or traditional applications like LDAP-based applications. Most enterprises use on-premise legacy corporate directories like Active Directory and OpenLDAP to integrate those traditional LDAP-based applications. However, setting up and maintaining these systems are complex, and also these systems have high total cost of ownership. A better alternative would be to use a modern identity system like Cloud Identity, which provides a simple and secure way to integrate LDAP applications. Secure LDAP is an LDAP as a service, which is part of Cloud Identity Premium and G Suite Enterprise. It makes your Google Cloud directory available as an LDAP directory to all your LDAP-based applications and IT infrastructure, for example, VPN servers, network attached storage servers, and et cetera. Now let's see it in action. Here's the Cloud Identity or G Suite Admin Console. I'm uh, clicking on Applications and click on LDAP. So this is the list of uh, LDAP applications I've already onboarded into my domain. Now I'm onboarding a new LDAP application called uh, Papercut. It's an enterprise print management solution. Clicking on Continue. In this section, you will be able to decide how much you want to expose your directory to this particular LDAP client. For example, if your LDAP client is used only by a portion of your company, then you select selected organizational units, and then you can select a subset of your organization here. Or if you want your entire organization to be authenticated to this LDAP application, just click on Entire Domain. In the same manner, you can decide how much to expose for user lookups, entire domain or a portion of your directory. And then you can also decide whether to expose groups from your directory or not. Now I'm clicking on Add LDAP Client. Within a few seconds, your applications will be onboarded and uh, you will also see a digital certificate that you can download. Now, some applications need uh, the directory's admin credentials. So not all applications need it, but some do. So if you have one of those applications, you go to the LDAP application details page, and I'm clicking on authentication section, and scroll down and you can create a, a new admin credential that you can use in those LDAP-based applications. And again, these ad admin credentials will only be useful for that particular application. All right, at any point of time, you can delete this admin credential or you can also delete uh, the uh, certificates that you have generated in the past. And finally, let's switch on this application so that Secure LDAP will be able to start accepting requests from this LDAP client. All right, we're done with part one of the configuration. Now let's go to part two. That is, you need to go to the LDAP application configuration screen and uh, you need to point to Google as an LDAP server. All right, so this is the admin console for Papercut, and this is the place where you can perform directory configuration. So here I've selected the Google Cloud directory, and if your LDAP configuration does not show Google Cloud directory, that's fine. You can select either Open LDAP or Active Directory. And here I've typed in my domain name, and then I've also uploaded the certificate to save some time. And then finally, let's test this configuration. When I click on Synchronize, now Papercut is authenticating itself using the digital certificate that we have uploaded. 
And once it is authenticated, it was able to pull a bunch of users and groups. From an end user perspective, end user walks up to any multifunction printer and they type in uh, Google credentials to release the print jobs. So when they type in the Google credentials, Papercut takes that credentials and authenticates with secure LDAP before letting the user to release uh, the print jobs. From a configuration perspective, each LDAP application is slightly different. So we have a help article that shows the configuration information for many popular applications. If you don't see your application here, don't worry. We have a, a generic configuration information so that you can configure any LDAP-based application. Now, finally, let's look at the audit logs. I'm going back to the home page here and clicking on reporting section. Secure LDAP audit logs are stored in two places. The first location is uh, the admin audit log. This is the place where you will be able to see all the things that your administrator have done in um, the admin console. For example, onboarding your LDAP-based applications, offboarding, switching on the service, downloading certificate, generating these credentials, and et cetera. Um, the second LDAP audit log that you should be looking at is the LDAP operations audit. So this is the place where we record all the communication that's happening between your LDAP clients and Google. For example, um, here the paper cut has authenticated the users. It has done some um, user lookups and uh, group lookups. So you'll be able to see all that information in LDAP audit log.